starting with my GMAT journey, I realized something that even though you're good at something, you can always commit silly mistakes. You can always commit a lot of mistakes with your preconceived notions. I honestly just focused on completing the entire course and then practicing as much as I can. So I went, I completed all the tests on top 1% mock portal. Mm -hmm. uh, all the material that was given to me, I did that thoroughly. And I think outside that, you don't need anything. So if I knew that a certain topic was weak or a certain topic need needed a lot of improvement, I strategically, uh, yeah, scheduled my mocks around uh, that topic. Yeah, I did not like do like verbal mocks, like three verbal mocks in one day. I divided it like one verbal one day, one quant one day, uh, one DI one day. And that is how like slowly and slowly I completed all the portions. Whenever you schedule a test, like whatever the time is, you should practice your mock around that time only. So I scheduled, I, I had a center which was very near to my place, but I did not choose that center because there was no afternoon slot available. And I'm usually comfortable in giving the exam in afternoon. So I scheduled it, which was like 30 kilometers away, but still like I was comfortable with the time. As you can see, I mean, what a, what a fantastic performance I can't Stop raving about this 765 and his quant is 100, verbal is 96, and DI is also 100. So, which means absolutely fantastic. And uh, you can see this is the email he sent, and this is what we had a conversation around. So, I mean, I'm so incredibly happy when I see any result like this, and especially someone who initially would have struggled as everybody does. It's not a smooth journey generally for anybody but uh, this. So, I'll stop the share and other that please start your camera. Hey. Hi, finally we get to see each other. Hi. So first of all, congratulations okay. and um, I don't know what to say. I mean, what was your feeling when you saw this? Uh, so sir, like I was not able to believe my score for a few minutes. Like I pinched myself if that is the reality. To be honest, like after this exam, I was expecting a good score. But after seeing 765, uh, I was also taken aback. I was also, I manifested it. But when I actually saw it, uh, like I had a sense of relief and happiness. That all my hard work has paid off. Right. So why don't you just take us through your journey as to what your struggle was, how you studied, you know, what all material you finished. Sure. Just the chronological order of your journey. Sure. The, yeah. Please. Sure. Uh, so I had taken a uh, top one percent focused edition. Uh, mm -hmm. I started with quant. I uh, I went through all the videos. Uh, mm -hmm. and I focused on it. Uh, initially, I wanted to be comfortable with the content. The second mm -hmm. uh, was, and which was the challenging part for me, was the verbal, right? Verbal section, specifically mm -hmm. RC. Uh, CR, again, because it is like logical based, logical reasoning based, and I have a strong, I would say like I have a strong natural instinct towards CR, but RC is something that I really, really struggled with initially. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so yeah, I went through all the strategies. Uh, I went through all the content that was available uh that that was given to me by talk and yeah like octave strategy came in so handy and like i think the long sittings and as you said that the golden rule of 250 passages that right. and it really really helped me uh, achieve a very high accuracy in RC. yeah and, uh, and uh, uh, all the other prep materials and how about data insights and portal and whatever you did for ir just tell that as well yeah 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 definitely definitely sir. so ir was something uh, which was new to me uh, it was the first time I was dealing with something like that. So the again, the basic material that was given was very mm -hmm. comprehensive and thorough. Uh, mm -hmm. I went through all the materials and uh, then the best part about top is the mock test. And there are so many questions, so many different types of questions mm -hmm. that are available. And I honestly just focused on completing the entire course and then practicing as much as I can. So I, went, I completed all the tests on top 1% mock portal. Mm -hmm. uh, all the material that was given to me, I did that thoroughly. And I think outside that, you don't need anything. I think the material that is given, it's very thorough. The strategies that are there are very thorough. And mm -hmm. I just followed the step-by-step -step program that was uh, laid out in front of me. And yeah, as we all can see, like the, it, it really paid off for me. All right. And uh, before I actually move to your exam experience, uh, yes. if you were good at some areas, did you still finish the material or did you take liberty of leaving yes, out sir. something in quant and CR, let's say, or something? No, sir, I did not leave out anything. Uh, even though, like, so I have, I, I realized something like while initially starting with my GMAT journey, I realized something that even though you're good at something, you can always commit silly mistakes. You can always commit a lot of mistakes with your preconceived notions right, when it right. came to CR, when it came to quant. Was so, it also related to data yeah, sufficiency? So data sufficiency where you may have made it a was. lot? Yes, sir. 
so the ds strap module that is given it was very very comprehensive and it laid out all the different kinds of traps that are there in ds section uh, which again helped me but as you asked sir i did not leave out any portion when it came to advanced part of quant anything i did not leave out anything and even in cr you did not leave out the advanced part of cr no sir topic no, wise no, 700 sir. 800 all of that and no. according uh, I, to you yeah yeah mm-hmm. sorry sorry because it's a little scratchy from your side so maybe we are overlapping in our voices sometimes i'm really sorry i may have to repeat some before going to the portal what was the biggest help in terms of the content before you went to the portal so was it rc700 was it octave application was it uh, you know quant was it cr7 what was the biggest help before you moved to the portal completely for you oh, today okay sir so uh, uh so for uh, i can divide it into sections for rc it was uh, again octave mm-hmm. strategy uh applying it on a number of passages and second ktw uh okay. that gave me a lot of context about different things that are going in the world and different topics that are asked in rc specifically mm-hmm. right so those two were the biggest help in rc cr again i struggled with bold faced questions so the module that was there in bold uh, that contains the bold faced question types and the strategies to tackle it that helped me a lot uh quant again i struggled with probability so okay. the way it, so all the questions that were there in the question bank for probability again and the explanations for every answer that helped me with strategizing how to tackle those question mm-hmm. and again for ir the basic uh, different types of questions and how to tackle each question the strategies helped a lot okay so now tell us about the portal experience how efficiently did you use official mocks and our mocks and our sectionals topic wise yes, all sir. of that you can just yes, uh, categorize and just tell in detail because all these people right now who are listening to you they really are going to go to portal very soon so that will really help them with okay, the site yeah okay uh so sir i think i, start, I can start with rc again that uh, so rc there are i think six long settings yeah. i completed each of them and i devoted 3 3 hours every time even for cr again there are like long settings uh, for quant there are long settings di there are long settings i like took out some time like and just gave it in one go and mm-hmm. that is what i focused on and portal helps a lot because it uh helps you strategize or tackle questions in a timely manner because there is that element of time pressure right so it goes a long way yes uh second thing was the sectional mock test that was mm-hmm. there so if i knew that a certain topic was weak or a certain topic need needed a lot of improvement Mm. i strategically uh, yeah scheduled my mocks around uh, that topic and okay. divided it like i did not yeah i did not like do like verbal mocks like three verbal mocks in one day i divided it like one verbal one day one quant one day uh, one di one day mm. and that is how like slowly and slowly i completed all the portions and how did you use the official mocks did you use all six did you use yes. only the two and what were your uh, mock scores like from the beginning till the end how did they progress yes. Yes, sir. So I really wanted to touch base on the mock portal. So first of all, the official mocks I had written the two, and I had bought one more. So I had written mm-hmm. three mocks. My score was around seven hundred five, starting seven hundred five, and then it went on to seven twenty five, seven thirty five also. Okay. Uh, but like when I came to the top one percent mock, it was way more uh, challenging, and I think that is a very very good thing. Like it, it has a lot of comprehensive questions as well, but mm-hmm. it gives you challenging. questions 700 800 800 level questions so on the exam day if you are encountered with tough questions you can easily tackle it because you have already done it thoroughly when if you are completing all the full length mock test in top at top yeah and what was this uh, like what were your mock scores like in our portal uh the mock scores like i st- it i started with i think it was around 675 685 and then slowly slowly as the level also went high i think i went up till 7 25 735 as well yeah that's fantastic and please uh, yeah. tell your exam experience in detail because rarely do i talk to someone with your kind of score obviously that's a very very rare score so just okay. tell us was there anything unusual was this a special day for you in terms of your you were in the zone like you were flying almost or was it like just tell mental state wise yeah. also and everything yeah yeah um one thing that i would say sir uh, is i think it's very important that whenever you schedule a test like whatever the time is you mm-hmm. should practice your mock around that time only so i mm-hmm. scheduled i i had a center which was very near to my place mm-hmm. but i did not choose that center because there was no afternoon slot available and i am usually comfortable in giving the exam in afternoons okay. so i scheduled it which was like 30 kilometers away but still like 
I was comfortable with the time. So that was one thing. And as you said, the, so the day was very good. I was confident that I can get 715, 725. I can touch that score because the work I had put in, I know I can achieve that score. Uh, but I went in with uh, full confidence that I will try my best and do my best. And yeah, everything went well that day. And I just had confidence. I did not panic at all. Uh, and I think giving a lot of mock tests helps, helps you with that. Keeps your nerve in check. Yeah. And I think yeah, I did not panic. I tackled every question one by one as it came. And yeah, like it, it paid off really well. Uh, what was the section order you took? Please then. Uh, yes, sir. So I took quant first. Uh, mm -hmm. then verbal and then and then data, data insights. I've always taken this order. I've never experimented with this order. So eventually, I mean, did you see any because yes, at sir. this score, a lot of toughness would have increased to an extraordinary degree. So did you feel that the toughness was actually yes, increasing or you were so well prepared that everything just went smooth for you this time? Sir, to be honest, um, I did not feel the difficulty increasing and it is all down to the mock test that I've given at top because mm -hmm. I've always tackled those level of questions. When mm -hmm. it came to mock tests, like I think a lot of 700 to 800 level questions are there. A lot right. of content is there for you to practice. So right. even though the difficulty was increasing, but I did not feel it. So. All right. And anything unusual or you feel really everything was nothing was unusual for you? Any question that was unseen or unusual? Uh, there was a challenging uh, RC question which came at the end. I think it was the it was a long passage. It was a long uh, Philosophical passage about, uh, I, I exactly don't remember, but I think some kind of poverty issue in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was a challenging passage and a couple of questions there. One was a primary purpose question and one was again an inference question. But even though I was not able to understand the passage completely, mm -hmm. uh, applying octave and understanding the tone of the passage, I was able to uh, correct, like, score, like, uh, get that question right. But mm -hmm. as long as you're you know what the gist of the passage is and what the tone and opinion of the passage is, of the author is, I think you can tackle every primary purpose question. Right. And once you saw your detailed score report, how many mistakes have you got actually and which section like uh, DI, how many mistakes, quant, if there is any, I don't think there may be because you got full score in quant it seems and verbal. How many mistakes, like did you make one or two mistakes per section? Yes, sir. So I committed one mistake in data insight, mm -hmm. right? And I think a couple of, I think three mistakes in mobile. And no mistake in quant. No mistake in quant. Super, super. Any piece of advice you will have for people? Like what are the mistakes you may have committed while preparing that they should avoid? Anything that genuinely worked out for you in terms of your routine, in terms of your practice, in terms of your consistency, attitude, whatever. So please do share uh, some of the do's and don'ts, please. Yeah. Uh, sure, sir. So when it came to routine, like, I, get, I make, made it a point to practice every day. I think mm -hmm. that is the most important part of it. Like right. people can study for six hours for like two weeks. And then if they don't touch the material for another two weeks, you lose that consistency. You lose that right. momentum. Right. Um, so yes, sir. So like I made it a point to like, even though I had a work, balancing it with work was difficult, but I made it a point to study one hour to two hours every day. Okay. And give that time religiously. And that yeah. helped me in the long run. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Anything to um, avoid? Anything adding to, to that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One very important learning that I got early in my journey was to maintain an error log. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is very, very important because if you are not aware of your weak areas, are, you will not be able to work on them. You will not be able to tackle them. So maintaining an error log is the key. Yeah, and uh, I think the template that is given by top, I think it is comprehensive enough for you to identify your weak areas and where you need improvement. Superb, superb. I think I'll invite you in some other session and we'll continue this because uh, there's a bandwidth issue at your end or some other issue. We will see how best we can redo mm -hmm. this. Uh, but thanks for your time, Adiraj. It has been fantastic. I mean, the score is just through the roof. And I'm sure now you will be on your way to applying to better places that than you would have ever imagined. So, and I think a uh, hundred percent yes, scholarships definitely. are also in order. So congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Sir, I will inviting. invite you once thank again you. for uh, with sure. a better network at some point in time. Right. Thank you. Definitely, so sir. Right. Thank you. Sir. So, and apologies for my network, sir. No, no, please don't apologize. These are not things that are in our hand. When nobody puts a weak network by intention, yes, so nothing like that. 
all right but we will once again talk okay, okay. let's let's have that conversation sure, i'll sir. invite to you maybe to a personal sure, job sir. session in which uh, we can talk a little more are you applying this year by the way just uh, sure, sir. yeah are you applying yes sir. i'm i'm targeting round 2 oh round 2 perfect perfect i'm targeting round 2 sir right. yes all right i'll do that thanks for your time all, right. all the way best for the application bye bye thank, thank you sir right bye thank you sir bye bye bye